what's up, what's up? We're here. I'm here with my boy MJ, man. You're watching my new show, Behind the Beats, man. Uh, man, MJ, I really appreciate you taking your time out today to come spend some time with us and, you know, chop a little, you know, chop it up with us, man. How's, how's it going with man, you, MJ? thank you for having me. You know, it's an honor to sit here with oh, you. Oh, stop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> BB from Circuit House, the one and only. You know, you know what, what I'm saying? saying? Hey, you know, when I first came out here to Miami, you yeah. were one of the first people that I met. You know definitely, what I mean? Definitely, definitely. Uh, for, for me to see you doing this right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm really impressed. You know, I'm proud of you. you no, know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm I thank proud you, of you so much, MJ, It's an man. honor to just be on this show with you and just, you know, sit down and chop it up. No, nah, definitely, right? definitely, man. You know, I always want to sit down and talk to you because I just felt like your mind was always in a different place. Mm -hmm. I mean, a place of moving forward, a place of thinking. There's so many things they don't know about you. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? And moves that you made uh, with my boy Rico Love. Big shout out to Rico Love, Rico, man. One of, one, of, one of the first people I met with MJ. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we'll get into a few questions. You know okay. what I'm saying? So what's going on with MJ? You know what I'm saying? What's happening? You got new ventures. What's, what's you know what I'm saying? What's happening with MJ? I, I think the same thing that's happened with everybody is, as far as the pandemic, you know, shutting everything down. You know, okay. it, it was really a setback. Yeah. for every single person out here. But at the same time, it was really uh, one of those moments that say like the hustlers really gonna come out. That is facts. The hustlers is gonna come out, yeah. you know what I mean? During a time like this. So I feel like it was a setback, but a, a, a great opportunity for a great powerful comeback for everybody that's out here. You know what I mean? If you're a hustler and you're about your money and you're about, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever it is that you're doing, this was the time for you to sit down, plan, yeah. you know, plan and, and, and be strategic about everything that you're doing. And, and really when everything opened up, go out running yeah right there with that answer i know you a smart individual mm -hmm. man just with that answer because you are right the pandemic really exposed a lot of people yes and it really brought out the true hustlers and i want to commend by saying you are a true hustler thank you you thank know you. what i'm saying thank you so mj i really want to know what inspires mj like what what inspires you you know really what inspires me is just life Life. You know what I mean? Just just life, my experiences, the things that I go through, my circle. I have a very small circle. Yes. You know, I, I've learned my lesson uh, being around, you know, a thousand people, hanging out with all the homies, you know, going everywhere that, and it gets you nowhere. Yes. You know what I, you know what I mean? So for me, just, you know, living life and, and, and studying and, and really paying attention to details and just making sure that each and every day I become a better man, a better person, a yeah. better artist in every single way. So for me, that's what's important. Definitely. Staying focused and making sure whatever whatever the vision is and the goal is that you just make sure you reach that and every day you're 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 working towards that and you're getting closer to your destination. That's a good advice, man. That's a good advice. So, you know, when I first met you, MJ, you was not doing no TV stuff. <laughs> you was all into the music. You was MJ, the R and B, right. the 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 Rico was producing you at the Circle House right. and you know what I'm saying, your music was sounding amazing. Are you still into the music? What's happening with uh, the R? What course, happened with the R and B? Of course, I was birthed music. I was I heard music coming out of the what'd you say out of the toto out of, <laughs> out, of, out, of, out of the vagina, you know, coming out of my mother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's my heart. You know, okay. at the end of the day, so I'll never let that go. That would be my number one. Okay. You know, realistically. And uh, you know, everybody know music is hard. Yeah. Music is, is it's a difficult journey. It's yeah. a very difficult journey, and you just got to stay at it. You know, no matter the success that you get out of it. Yeah you have to continue to shoot for the stars. Yes. You gotta continue to shoot for the stars. So for me, no matter, I've, I've had, to some people I've had some success and to others I haven't. Yeah. And, but you know, for myself, I can say that, you know, I'm not happy where I am, you know, in my career. Okay. You know, and I'm still- Did I say that? You said you're not happy? I'm not happy okay. because, you know, I want so much out of life. Okay. And I expect so much for myself. Okay. That, um, you know, I have to continue to work. Definitely. Do you think, the reality show has helped your music career or has hurt your music career? I mean, realistically, you know, everybody knows that they didn't really promote anything of my music on the show. Oh, okay, okay. You know, uh, my music wasn't promoted and, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a man. I can handle anything that's, 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 that comes my way. Okay. You know what I mean? So the music wasn't really promoted and, and, and you know, maybe next time, if there's a next time, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, we'll make sure that that's definitely promoted and it's put out there to the people. but. Um, that's my first love, yeah. and I mean, we're here, and, and, and whatever we got to do to make sure it gets out there to the public, to the world, that's what we're going to do. Definitely. A lot of people don't know that you um, toured with Romeo Santos. Yes, yes, yes. Man, that was an experience that um, I And wish... if you don't know who Romeo Santos is, <laughs> look Romeo Santos up. Biggest very, Spanish very bachata big. artist in the world. Yes, yes. Romeo Santos. I toured with Romeo for three years. You yeah. know, and it was an experience that I can um, 
I will always remember. Yeah. I would always remember. I would, we toured all over South America, United States, Europe. Uh, we were everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, for me, that really opened my eyes to uh, the Latin market. Yeah. Um, and just indulging, you know, I feel like I'm Dominican. You know, yeah. I feel like I'm Dominican anyway. You know, Not, I feel like it's in my blood. You know what's crazy to me? <laughs> you know what I mean? When I was at the studio, watching you learn Spanish. And I was born in Hawaii. That's yeah. what's crazy. You know Spanish. Yes, sir. I mean, back to front. You know what I mean? Of, of course, I think each and every, it's like the dictionary. The dictionary is big. Yeah. And there's words in there that we see and we don't know what the hell it is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And as long as you're studying and you, yeah. you, look, you, know, you can study. So, you know, of course, I know and I can speak and have great conversations and I yeah. can sing in Spanish. And of course, I'm learning each and every day. Yeah. And I just love the culture. I love everything about it. Yeah. You know? So for me, it's just like, uh, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. It, it makes me feel good. I'm happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just love the whole culture of the, the Latin culture culture and yeah. especially the Dominicans. Yeah. What was um like I know it was an experience for you, but like I know we've you've genre into like the urban market, the pop market, and right. then the Latin market. Was there like a difference? Like the, the, the Latin people, like did, do they support their artists more or like, you know? Well for me I'm gonna speak for myself. Okay. Um and this is no no shade, no hate to you know my own people, but realistically I got a lot more love from the Latin community yeah. when it wow. comes to me singing and, yeah. and r&b and bachata is really is very very similar very you know similar as very as similar if you romantic, really romantic yes. sexual yes. loving you yes. know uh, a relationship yes. you know it's that type of music so for me but i got a very great response and i was kind of like embraced from you know yeah. one of the you know romeo santos from a great one yeah. of the top artists in in the latin um uh industry i mean you so, guys were doing stadiums yes i'm stadium. talking about like 30 20 000 people i mean like 10 uh, to 20 to 30 to 40 50 i mean i'm talking about it was a lot it was it was an experience it was crazy yeah like i, I can't even explain you wouldn't even understand so when people like sometimes when they come up to you like you a new jack uh -huh. like how does it make you feel because you know you done toured all over the world you done private jet you done did it all <laughs> this is before the reality show right right so when people step to you about you being a new jack like like you just getting in the game or or love of hip hop is like making you or like how do you feel about that? It's just like uh, it's like racism. It's like uh, <laughs> it's like real estate. Yeah, you got to do your history. Yes, and if you don't know it, you just don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? And for, for me, I'm a, I'm a man, you know, I'm very, very mature, yeah. you know, with everything that I do. So, you know, I can laugh things off and, yeah. and you know, nobody's living my life but me. I'm living. This, yeah. is, this is my world. I'm living my life and I'm, I'm happy with where I've come from. Yes. You know, I've been through a lot, yeah. you know, and how I've pro pro uh, progressed in life, yeah. you know, for me is, um, you know, I can, I can pat myself on the back. You know, I have a long way to go. I have a long way to go, but I'm happy with where I'm at um because of what i've been through and you know i just want to keep fighting and keep pushing forward to um to conquer some of the goals you know that i have you know in my mind yeah no definitely definitely so you know you know i gotta get a little personal with you you my homie you know what i'm saying <laughs> gotta ask a little questions but oh man where you going with how is it going with with miss amada de negra how's it going oh amada man a, a beautiful queen a beautiful queen a wonderful person i love her with all my heart yeah. you know, everybody knows that i continue to say that and uh yeah. you know we got a great great relationship yeah. you know a lot of people you know are asking questions want to know what's going on and i feel like you know after the tv show and everything that happened you know, some things, you know, you got to keep the people out yes. of your business. Yes. You yes. know what I mean? Whatever your business is, keep them out. You know, everybody, the world has their opinion. Yeah. You know, the show every week had, what, three three million people watching every every Monday. So, you know, you got to keep people out of your business. Because yeah. imagine paying attention to all of the opinions of the people out there for You're what right. they see yeah. on TV. Yeah. You know, just taking the visually uh, what they see and not knowing me really yeah. as a person and judging me based off of that. But I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Does the, sometimes, does the people judging you from love and hip hop, does it really affect your real life? Like in some type of way? Um, like, you know? Does it affect your real life? I, I think that, you know, I would be lying if, because I'm human. Yes. You know, I have my moments. You know, just like anybody else, I have my moments. But overall, you know, those moments I'm, is 1%. Yeah. You know, 99% of the time, I don't give a damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How yeah. they feel or what they think because I'm me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody worked and, and, and got through the obstacles that I got through but me. Yeah. You wasn't there with me shooting in the gym. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> wasn't there with me shooting in the gym. So, yeah. you know, it doesn't matter. But, 
you know, your first time on, on national TV, on a reality TV show, and, and you're perceived the way that I was perceived, um, you know, that 1%, you know, sometimes it does bother you, but, you know, I can get over it. Yeah. All the shit I done got through in my past, I can get over this shit. Yeah. That ain't nothing. And uh, I know you got a family. Right. Of, of people. You got yes. your sister. Yes, yes. And who was your, your other brother, my, my too? My sister, Shay Johnson, my brother, Joe Johnson. Shay was in Love and Hip Hop. Dr. Dr. Joe Johnson, I'm sorry. Do Dr. Joe Johnson. Um, Shay was in Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and right. Miami. Right. Okay, okay. Right. And uh, your brother is a doctor? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Y'all seem like you have a very close relationship. Yeah, we, are, we also, uh, we, we travel around and we go to high schools. And well, before the pandemic, we were going to high schools and doing speaking engagements. Um, uh, Joe, um, I'm sorry, uh, the Johnson Takeover. Okay. So we were traveling around. We got that started. So that's something that we're doing, giving back to the youth. And yeah. just, you know. That's amazing, that, That's man. a great thing. Just that's as a, as a family, you got to stick together. That's three brains. Yes. That's seen so much and been through so much, right. man. Like, I wouldn't mind going here and get a little thing therapy from y'all man because y'all done seen it all and really done it all man and, and we you still we're still going through it we're still fighting and you know that's just the journey of life yeah i see i see it says on the 30th on your, on your instagram you guys gonna be on uh ayana fix my life wow ayana fix my life you know my family we went on there and we, and we shot and it was definitely an experience i, I didn't want to do it i'm gonna okay. be honest with you i didn't want to do it i didn't feel like i needed to to go um, but I went and I really, you know, it was definitely a shocker for me. Wow, good you know, experience. It was a great experience, something okay. that I, I, I needed. Yes. I needed I, and I didn't know. That's wow. You know, you know, wow. your past, your childhood follows you. Yeah. And, and as adults, we find a way to numb and suppress, you know, our childhood and the things that we've been through. Definitely. But those things go with us throughout our life wow. and they affect us without us even knowing. Yes, yes. Man, like... Um, that's deep, man. That's really, really deep. And for you to experience that with your family members, yeah. that was big. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what's next for MJ? What's next for you, MJ? You, you know what? This is what I'll say. The, the pandemic, this, this, this shit really yeah. this set everybody back. Yeah. And you had to put on your, your thinking cap. Yeah. And you really had to figure out what was your, what, what are you designed? Why are you here? What yeah. is it that you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? Yeah. And for me... You know, I've lived my life and I started off very, very young, doing a lot of things. And, you know, as an adult now, you know, I want to be a businessman. You know, I want to be a businessman. You know, mm -hmm. I want to really take things serious. I want to, to plan and execute everything yeah. that I do. And I think most importantly, it's about executing. Yeah. Whatever plans and goals that you have in life, you have to execute. Because right. we all have a habit of starting but not finishing. finishing. Yes. You know what I mean? So executing those goals that I have, you know, my music, all the side ventures that I'm that I'm doing that nobody knows about, yeah. you know, uh, a couple of them I have a, a candle line, you know, I'm coming wow. out with a, with a hat line, yeah. you know, different things like that. I have a yacht company. Wow. You know, those are just small little things, you know, that I'm doing, yeah. you know, you know, I'm working on my album, you yeah. know, right now. So you know, it's just about executing everything that you want to do. You know, my mindset is getting to getting into real estate. Yeah. You know, getting into real estate. That's just one major, major thing that I want to jump yeah. into. So, you know, I'm 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 doing every and anything that I can to just better myself, yeah. be successful, and just be happy with life. Yeah. You it's know, all about being happy, It's man. about being happy. The yeah. opinions of people, creating my circle and making sure that I'm happy within my circle yeah. and building off of that. No, definitely, definitely. How did it feel being on the show with Amada De Negra? Oh, man. You know, uh, that was my first time going public, you know, okay. as far as uh, my relationship. Okay. Um, and uh, it was a experience that uh, the whole world could see. Yeah. You know, the whole yeah. world was able to see. Um, that's tough yeah man it's, it's tough it's, <laughs> it's, it's difficult and yeah. you know going on reality tv you don't expect or you don't know what's going to happen yeah um the turnout yeah. you know a lot of different things are just hit they yeah. hit you in the moment and you have to react in the moment and um they're real uh reactions yeah you know they're, they're definitely real reactions so you know for me it was um unexpected yeah. you know i didn't know what i was getting myself into um but hey, what the hell? That's life. That's life, man. Cause you know we, we we can never be prepared for everything. Never. But I can tell you a good dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't see too much stuff come out from the past, mm -hmm. and you know it's always gonna be a hater somewhere. You know man, what I'm saying? Man, at the but, end of the day, I was there to support the woman that yeah, I love. Yeah. To support her, you know yeah. what I mean, and um, to just be true to myself. Yeah. And with everything that was going on, I think that I was. Um, 
I was doing everything everything that I was supposed to do. I think he was a, a complete gentleman. Yeah. Watching from as a consumer, mm -hmm. watching as a marketing person, right. and then watching as your friend. Right. I thought you was a complete and utter gentleman. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I actually you. learned a lot because I see you, you don't lose your cool nah. a lot. Like there's a lot of things that could and that's that, that's probably through experience. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? You didn't you never lost your cool, you didn't go crazy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? What are some preconceived notions about MJ? What what are some things that people like may think they know, but they don't even know about you? Um what do people think they know about me? Yeah. They see the show, they see you all oh, got your shirt off, you know, they see you oh, what, MJ trying what, to show what, what, Well number one, they think I don't work. And they think <laughs> I don't get no money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm Which is crazy. So that's the number from one day thing. one, I knew you was a hustler. But it, but it's, know? but it's all good. It's, yeah. it's that um, the people don't know how great of an artist I am. Yes, you, you know are. What I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm a singer. You know, I believe in myself. I know yes. I'm very, very talented. Yeah. Um, that wasn't shown on the show, and I'm a very great artist, and I have great music. Yeah. Um, the people don't know in real life that I am. A, I'm, I'm a gentleman. Yes. I'm, a, I'm a great. You know. Friend, I'm a great, you know what I'm saying, man, just yeah. in general. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I want to see everybody win. I'm not a hater. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? None of that. I'm just here to, I want to be happy, man. Yeah. You know, when you've been through so much in life, it's about being happy and going through the journey, you know, and just letting it flow. Yeah. You know, letting it flow and being happy and just, you know, the people that support you, you supporting them and, yeah. you know, just going through life. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think 2021. It's gonna be the MJ. Twenty twenty one gonna be on fire. I think it's gonna be the MJ. I think I think listen, MJ is gonna be on fire. Listen, the, the pandemic done brought the hustlers out. Yeah. And when I say I sat down, I remember the days when I was sitting down just writing shit down with a pen and paper, like this is what I'm gonna do. I need to do this. I need to do that. In twenty twenty one, this is what's happening. Yeah. And I am every each and every day. I am gradually accomplishing those things to yes. prepare myself for 2021, and I'm ready. And y'all yeah. better be ready, because <laughs> I'm ready. Man, so we here, man. You watching <laughs> Behind the Beats. You may hear a little ruckus, a little noise. We vibing over here, my we boy. We hear the ghost And bar. the ghost bar. What up, ghost? <laughs> what up, Manny? What up, Mo? We here just having a good time, you know, vibing out and everything, man. So, you know, before we wrap up the whole interview and everything, is there any thing you want to talk about let me know your new ventures let them know how to follow you and find you you know uh, uh, um, I'm just gonna tell you this this for everybody out there man if you believe in yourself believe in yourself nobody's gonna hand it to you nobody's gonna give it to you work work for it work hard you know what I'm saying if you want to be successful you got to get out there and you got to get it from the mud you know what I mean and you're gonna hear a lot of no's it's gonna be a lot of people around you that's doubting. It's gonna be a lot of haters. It's gonna be a lot of people that's plotting on you. But all you gotta do is stay focused. Move forward, move forward. Surround yourself around people that don't feel like you're a threat. Because a lot of things that I experienced in my life, wow. you know, a lot of people, if they feel like you can be more powerful, more successful, uh, you can touch more people, um, you're more talented, they don't wanna see you surpass the success that they have. They don't wanna see that. But it's okay. You just move them to the side and keep it pushing. It's, everything is going to align itself properly in your life. The secret. Go read it. You know what I mean? That's deep, man. <laughs> That's deep, man. That's deep. MJ, let the people know how they can follow you on Instagram, your websites, your, or your any type of social media handles that you may have. Everything is official MJ. Official MJ is spelled E-M-J-A-Y. My website, all my social media, YouTube. Hey, you can even ask BB. BB is one of my <laughs> biggest supporters, man. This is my brother right here. You day know what I mean? One. So day one. So, yeah. you know, official MJ, you can follow me everywhere. MJ is E-M-J-A-Y. I appreciate it. I love all of y'all. And just thank y'all for tuning in. It's me, MJ. Peace. I got one more question, man. I thought, uh -oh. man. Um, it's a young couple, right? They want to get into the entertainment business. Mm -hmm. They day in. They doing regular regular jobs, right? Mm -hmm. But they want to get into reality shows, they want to get into music. Right. What advice would you give a young couple trying to get into the music? Well, music right. and entertainment reality business. Right now, everything is about the internet. It's about social media. If you okay. want to get involved, you just have to be consistent. You have to be active in, in, in content. Yeah. Content, you got to put it out there. You have Instagram, you have uh, Twitter, you have YouTube. All, and all these platforms you can make money. You can monetize, you can make money off of most of these platforms, you can do it. And I just named three, but there's so many more so many that you more. can do. You just have to be consistent, you have to be true to yourself, and you have to put out that content. 
And when I tell you, and slide up in people's DM. Ask questions, study. You know what I mean? Like, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Be vulnerable. You know what I mean? Like, it's important. Be vulnerable. Put yourself out there. Stay active. Put your face, you know what I'm saying, out there to the public. And like I said, uh, make sure that content is out there to the people. Put it out there any way you can. And they got to have some type of trust or like, trust. you know. Definitely. Trust, yeah. is, trust, is, in, uh, trust is important. You can, you can have the trust, but at the end of the day, put that shit out there. It don't yeah. matter what you're doing. Just, just be free. Yeah. And just put somebody going to contact you. You're going to run into the right person. It's, it shit just be divine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That it's divine. True. Like what's, what's lined up for you is for you. Can't nobody stop or take that away. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused. Don't let nothing deter you from, from, from your vision that you see for yourself. Period. Man, that's enough, man. Now I'm gonna start charging y'all for the rest of this knowledge we're getting from MJ, man. But you're watching my new show, Behind the Beats. I'm here with my brother, MJ, man. And we signing off, man. We out.